Hello everyone, on the Facebook survey, some of you would like to get a tutorial for control loops in Simulink. In this crash course, the methods for analyzing and designing controllers using MATLAB and Simulink will be demonstrated. Once a control system has been modeled, the second step is to investigate the system properties. In order to make statements about the behavior of a system, the control system toolbox provides a comprehensive spectrum of analysis functions from general system properties to model dynamics in the time and frequency domain to checking the controllability. Using the example system DC shunt machine, the individual steps from setting up the control loop in Simulink to calculating the controller coefficients and designing the required state observers are shown. DC shunt machine, which is to be current and speed controlled, is regarded as an example of a control system. Equations in the differential equation form for a DC shunt machine are, for the armature voltage, for the back key MF, the speed of rotation is, the internal torque is, and finally the armature time constant is. In this equations, the signal flow diagram of the DC shunt machine, with constant field flux can be produced. Machine data of the DC shunt machine are. This machine data is stored in this initialization file, which must be called manually at the MATLAB prompt, before starting the Simulink simulation, or is automatically called by entering the file name, in the model post load function field, on the callbacks tab of the model properties submenu, in the file menu when the simulation is started. The general simulation parameters, stop time t stop and the maximum integration step size of the simulation, max step size step max are also defined. Likewise, a step of the voltage set point value at time t step to the value URF is determined as input signal. Using the signal flow diagram and the variable names from the initialization file, the Simulink model can now be easily programmed using the Simulink blocks. Settings of the point solver are shown in the picture on the right. Data to import, export, T for time and Y for output are selected as saved to workspace variables. To workspace blocks, the armature current IA and the speed N are explicitly stored in the workspace variables IA and N. The input block UA and the output blocks IA and N are required for creating the state representation, or the transfer functions, violin mod from input UA to the outputs IA and N. These can then be examined and edited with the control system toolbox procedures. For a first investigation of the system properties, a Simulink simulation is started, with a step input of the motor armature voltage. For this purpose, the step block UARF is used as the input signal, to which the variables T-step and UARF set in the initialization file, are passed as parameters for step time and final value. The initial value is set to zero. Thus, the output of the UARF block jumps from zero to the value final value of time t step. This MATLAB script displays the signals stored as workspace variables A, A and N. In order to apply the extensive analysis procedures of the control system toolbox to a Simulink model, it must first be converted into an LTI model. This is done with the MATLAB commands linmod, linmod2, or dlinmod, and the MATLAB command ss from the control system toolbox. For the example of the DC shunt machine, the whole process is again done by this MATLAB script. The first step 
The linear time invariant state representation is generated with LinMod from the Simulink module, which consists of a system of ordinary differential equations. The SSLTI model is obtained from the state representation, using the well-known command SS. Additionally, the names for the inputs and outputs of the system, are assigned to the Simulink variable names. The output at the MATLAB prompt is as follows. The SSLTI model SysDCM obtained in this way, can now be examined with the familiar analysis tools. For example, the following output is obtained for the natural frequency omega n, and the damping d of the system, with the command dump. With both and pz map you create the plots for both diagram, and poles zeros for this system. In addition to the options as shown above, Simulink control design is a quick and easy way to investigate a system, without the MATLAB commands. We will look at all this in the next video, before we start cascade control of the machine. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get video updates.